Hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, got a little new background for you to look at. You know, thought I'd change it up. And what we're going to talk about today is the return of baseball for 2020. Some people were thinking maybe it's not going to happen. Um, I was actually thinking it wasn't going to happen. And frankly, I was hoping it wouldn't. Say what? For 2020. Because, you know, at this point, I was like, just, you know, whatever, recoup, get set, get ready, and let's just bring it on in 2021. But the commissioner of baseball, the owners, the and the players decided that they will actually play baseball this year. So, um, they didn't, the players and the, uh, and Major League Baseball did not agree on how long the season should be, but the commissioner has it, um, in the collective bargaining agreement that they did last time that they're still working off of that, um, he can mandate the length of the season, I think. So he decided in all of his infinite wisdom that there will be a 60 game season this year. Um, it will be along the lines of what was discussed by various people um, in earlier iterations of the negotiations where there will be a Western League and an Eastern League and all the teams in the East will just play each other. All the teams in the West will just play each other. So. Uh, like the two Chicago teams, the Cubs and the White Sox, will be in the Western League. And both New York teams, the Mets, Yankees, will be in the Eastern League. Uh, the entire league is going to go with the DH. There will be no pitcher hitting this year. Um, and these changes also, a lot of these changes that are weird, like DH for the entire season, and some of the others we'll discuss are just because of 2020 and because of the um, the virus situation. So it remains to be seen whether this carries over into other seasons, but the 60 game schedule obviously won't. Um, it's just because of when they have to start. And the season, uh, training camps, training camp will open on uh, the 1st of, uh, the 1st of July and games will begin on July 24th. That's what we know so far. Again, 60 game schedule or yeah, 60 game schedule only playing amongst themselves, the West playing the West, the East playing the East. So that'll be interesting. Every team with a DH, it's going to be weird to see teams like the Cubs and the, um, Diamondbacks and uh, the Mets and teams like that all having DHs, but you know um, To start the season, I think there's going to be a 30-man uh, Active roster which will be available to every team in the dugouts 30 guys and then it's going to go down to 28 and then by the end of the season It will go down to 26, which is what they were planning on opening the season with anyway um a couple of, uh, well, actually, one of the weird things. Well, there's a, a few weird things. Um, one of them is going to be that in extra innings, there's going to be a man placed on second. This was one of Rob Manfred's stupid ideas. And he's actually going to be able to get his stupid idea um, instituted um, because of the, um, the COVID schedule. So anyway, what they're going to do is extra innings. They will just, they'll start the inning, each uh, half inning, with a man being placed at second base. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? And then they will play from there. Again, it's a stupid idea. It's a stupid plan. I hope it never catches on beyond this season. For one thing, you don't know. There's no way to account for how that guy got there. If you're scoring it, in your scorebook, what do you say? Okay, a guy just appeared at second base. No. So, uh, Rob Manfred is an idiot. The man is mostly an idiot. So, I just hope this doesn't catch on ever. Um, 
And uh, so, like I said, you know, training camp's opening, uh, spring training oh, starting, I guess, spring training two starting on July 1st, and then season's opening July 4th. Uh, the relievers facing, uh, coming in, have to face three batters. That was going to happen anyway. That was one of the rules that they were looking at um, instituting this year anyhow. So, again, I think that that's a stupid rule, too. I can somewhat live with it, but it's still a stupid rule because you're actually managing the team for the manager. So, um, so that's going to happen. There's going to be no spitting allowed, so if they have sunflower seeds or they whatever chew the tobacco no spitting and they also will not be showering in the stadium so that's going to be an interesting development they're not supposed to shower until they get back to the hotels so uh, that's just a few of the things that I've been able to find out uh, watching various like the do's and uh, some of the other youtubers like giraffe neck mark if you don't watch Gir giraffe neck mark I suggest you watch him now he unlike me is extremely excited about baseball coming back um, and he would take baseball in any way shape or form he could get it again I'm not really kind of in that camp I'm more like you should just scrap it, call it, and let's do it again next year when we can do it right. But it is what it is. I am kind of excited to see it back, you know. Um, it's just going to, I mean, the whole thing, who wins and who makes the playoffs, however the playoffs end up looking, all of that is just going to have to do with who gets off to a, a fast start. I mean, if you think back to last year, the world champions were the um, Washington Nationals. The Washington Nationals of last year under this format, they don't make the play they don't even make the playoffs because they were horrible in the first 60 games. So, you know, we'll see what happens. So, I got to hope my uh White Sox get off to the uh great start and then you know, and who knows? Could happen, you know. But over a longer haul, over 158 games or 154 games or 162 games, you're going to find out who really should have been in the playoffs. Over 60 games, you're not really going to know. It's just going to be whoever made it and whoever got off to the fastest start. Um, I mean, under the new format, the Orioles could make the playoffs. <laughs> you know. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the on baseball coming back. Kind of looking forward to it, but I still would have rather that they had just decided to call the whole thing off and, you know, come back next year. But I know for money reasons, the players being paid, the um, multitude of other financially driven reasons, they had to try to get back, and so they are going to do. So, what do you guys think? Would you have rather seen the uh, season just be scrapped and started again back, you know, over in, um, in 2021? Or are you happy that they're coming back? Do you think they should play more games than 60? Because there are formats that they could use that they had bandied about before, and they could have played more than 60 regular season games. But they're only going to play 60. So, do you think they should play more than that? Um... Do you think 60 will be sufficient? Um, I've mentioned a reason why I don't think it will be, but, um, you know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And leave a like. If you don't subscribe to the channel, subscribe. Um, let me know what you want to see. You can subscribe and then say, hey, um, this is what I want to see you do. Um, because, hey, you know, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel. Even if you're going to only watch every once in a while, select videos, still subscribe. But that's going to be it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.